This is lesson 8b, and there are uh, quick notes of review here. So where we last left off, we had taken our completed Soundtrap file and we exported it to flat. I've already done that for your benefit, so this is the result. I'm going to click the name of one of the instruments, and I'm going to remove any of the instruments that I don't need. In fact, the instruments that I do need are the pad 2 and the acoustic grand piano part here. The drum set part, unless I'm a drummer, I'm going to delete that. Okay. So what we're looking at here should be the pad part, which are the two whole notes set up as chords, and the, uh, the grand piano part. Okay, there's a few things that are tricky here. Thing number one is even though we already transposed the, um, the entire Soundtrap song, and you'll remember that we selected all those regions, we went up to edit, and we found change pitch. Okay, so I'm assuming that you've already done that. The first thing that we need to do is graphically adjust the key signature to concert B flat. That's two flats. And all I did was click on the key signature and then reselect. Just make sure that change the key for all the parts is selected down here in green. Okay, that's a thing that you want. All right, so that adjusts the key signature, which is super helpful. Uh, the next thing that we need to do here is arrange the pad two parts for two voices. So we're going to choose any, just click on any of the notes in that part. On the top left you're going to click the blue pill for voice one and select split staff and it gives you a sub menu and we're going to choose split into two parts. Perfect. So it gives us two separate whole note parts. Now there is a weird edit that we're going to have to make here and the edit is that it gives us, just because of the way it used to be spelled, a lot of A sharps, but we're in the key of B flat, and your memory might be that A sharp, whoops, I didn't mean to add that note, but A sharp down here, which is, you know, a half step above A, is the same as B flat. They're unharmonic, and we're in the key of B flat, so it makes much, much more sense for you to spell this as B flat because it's in the key signature, and there's a button to change that. We can go up here to the top. Now, just to make sure, like if you've accidentally collect an, clicked another one of these menus, this is found under the note menu. And there should be a button here that says switch and harmonic. And you'll see it changes to a B, but of course the flat is in the key signature. And we have to go note by note just to quickly do this. If you just use the right arrow key, it allows you to do that. Okay, so it just I'm going to go literally note by note through here. Now it does, it bothers me that there's no more tie there. If you hit the S key on your keyboard, it should slur those back together. Okay, so literally anywhere I see that A sharp, I'm just going to click my mouse and then I'll restore that slur. It's a pretty fast word, honestly. Okay, so you're going to go through that entire part. The next thing you're going to do is in the piano part, the main melody, it has that same A sharp issue. So we're going to go through and change out all those A sharps into B flats. And I'm just using my arrow key to toggle through. And whenever I visually identify the A sharp, okay, here's an example of a D sharp. But in this key signature, we can be using E flats. So if we hit respell accidental, it brings that into an E flat. And you can basically see the only two real problems that we're going to have, which are the A sharps and the e, e flats or D sharps. Okay, so you do need to do that for your entire part. Uh, just for the sake of the argument here, I'm going to give you the next three steps, which are very fast and easy. You're going to click on the name of one of these instruments, and we're going to add some of your um, some of your personal instruments. So I'm going to pretend that I play clarinet here. This should bring you to the instrument settings menu, and we're going to click Add an instrument, and just start typing the name of your instrument. You can see it's right here. Okay, I'm just going to hit Enter, and it adds it. I want to add three of my own instrument. 
and it does require clicking add an instrument three times but I'm gonna add three of those and then I'm gonna move those three parts just using the handles over here on the left I'm gonna move those to the top and click done the final thing you're gonna do here and this is a pretty quick copy and paste is you're gonna highlight everything in one of these parts okay and you'll see right here that that's just rests you can see that my melody begins to appear here just for the sake of this lesson I'm gonna stop right here but you're gonna copy and paste this that first piano melody into this part and it should appear once you get to the first measure of melody here I'll just try to find it the melody should appear in the correct key signature for your instrument which is great by the way I hate looking at all of these um, quarter rests so what I do is I just hit the number one key and that switches them over to a whole rest I think it's visually easier to look at okay the last step is the same you're going to highlight the pad parts and you're going to copy them the high pad part is going to go into the middle clarinet part again the middle your instrument part and the low pad part is going to be copied and pasted into the bottom your instrument part or the low your instrument part so ultimately you should have a three instrument arrangement of parts of last Christmas.